Hi everyone, I'd like to talk a little bit about my story, how everything started here in the internet. As you may all know, my name is Paula and I'm from Brazil. And my connection with films is actually very old. Since childhood, I have always loved old films, but uh, I was a child and a teenager in the 1980s and 1990s, so we didn't have as much access to old films as I would like. Then the internet came and it got easier to watch older films. And in 2010, without any pretension, without any intention of being an influencer or anything of the sort, I started a blog in Blogger, which is a blog that exists until nowadays, and I have started writing about silent films. But as I have said, I didn't have any intention of growing in internet especially because in 2010 this concept of growing online being in social media it was everything very new and people still couldn't understand that completely and then i started in twitter mostly to advertise my posts in the blog and uh, i have started to socialize with many people all over the world in twitter everything grew very fast to a proportion that I couldn't imagine. I have started to join tweet alongs in Twitter and to talk to many people. And this is how it ha happened. For many years, I have talked to many people in Twitter and I still didn't have any intention of going to other social medias. It was all fine. Then I started, um, I started in Twitter in 2011. In 2012, I started a page about silent films in Facebook, which is also called Silent Beauties. And I posted some pictures here and there. I didn't have any wish or intention to grow online. I have started in Instagram, in 2016, I posted some stuff until 2017. I was idle for around five years, then I returned at the end of 2022. And then I realized that I was already in most social media and that I have written for about silent and classic films for a long time. And then I finally realized that I had something to say that could help fellow classic film fans or that we, I could exchange more knowledge with more people and that it would be interesting to do that by videos because talking by videos, it's a very good step when it comes to personal development. It's good to know how to act in front of the camera. It's good because you kind of talk face to face with people you would never have a chance to know. And you can see the point of view of people all over the world about films, about cinema. And this is how it all began. In around 2010, I started a blog about silent films without any wish to grow. I just wanted to write about films. I started slowly in other social media. And then after years of posting, I realized that I could grow and that I had something to say and that I wanted to exchange with other people. And this is how everything began. And this is why and how I am here right now. So, for the moment, that's all, folks. We'll talk more soon. See you! So, now we are going to talk about the film Roman Holiday, which was produced in 1953. 
It's really one of the most delicate films I have ever watched. It stars Audrey Hepburn, who was then a newcomer in Hollywood, and Gregory Peck. It talks about a princess who had a very pampered life, but no freedom at all. And she was very young and she really needed and she really wanted to be free. So then all of a sudden, during a visit to Europe, more specifically to Italy, she leaves her palace and spends a full day away. And this film really talks about freedom in a very, very touching way. It shows her going out, buying her first pair of shoes, having her, her hair cut for the first time the way she wanted, the first time she went to a party. And on the way, she met a journalist who was played by Gregory Peck. And at first, he wanted to take advantage of the situation. But now, after a while, they became friends and had feelings for each other. And it was something very, very delicate, very optimistic. It talks about loyalty. It talks about how important it is to have your values and the power of friendship, the power of principles, everything in a very non-aggressive way. So it's one of the most beautiful films I have ever watched. And I seriously recommend you to watch Roman Holiday. It talks about things that never get old and that are always important. So this is my recommendation for today.